Hello everyone, I'm Kiki. I love dressmaking. Before the video starts, if you're watching it for the first time, this is a channel dedicated to introducing knowledge stories and step-to-step -step making of costume and fashion wear. We upload videos of costume or dressmaking every week. Almost every video will be attached with the free pattern file, which means you can make one too. There's a free pattern file for this design at the link below. Please read the pattern information on the first six pages before printing. The first page is the copyright notice, printing and sewing precautions. The second page is the test page to make sure the printed drawings are the correct size. The third page is the size chart for reference. There are also measurements demonstration video on the channel. The fourth page is the production information of the pattern as well as cutting and fabric usage. The fifth page is the graphic information of the pattern. The sixth page is the technical flat drawings. The seventh page starts with the actual patterns in different size. When printing a file, please pay attention to the settings and choose A4 size paper. Click actual size or 100%. You may click print. After printing, you may trim off the top right corner. Check that the length of the square are 5 cm. Arrange them according to the letters and numbers on the paper. Align the markings on the paper and stick them together. Pay attention to the position of the green line when cutting the fabric. The green line must be parallel to the red line on the pattern. Use a ruler to confirm they are parallel to one another. Sometimes, pattern pieces will not include seam allowance. After the pins are fixed, please mark the lines with the marking tool. Then use busting or chalk to mark the desired seam allowance. Pattern pieces with seam allowance can use the tracing wheel to copy the seam line. If you are ready, let's start making! The number of cuts are marked on the pattern pieces. First, make gathers on the long rectangle piece. It's going to take a while to make nice gathers, please be patient. Then connect the gathered piece to the right front panel. Make sure that the gathers are evenly distributed over the joints. Please slow down when sewing the gathers. Please feel free to use any seam for the edges over lock folded or French seam. In the video, we use French seams most of the time. Fix the side seams of the front and back pieces with pins. Then fix the shoulder seams of the front and back pieces with pins. Seam the side seams of the front and back panels. Seam the shoulder seams of the front and back panels. Make sure you press every seam after sewing. Please attach interfacing on the blacked pieces. 
Choose the appropriate type of interfacing according to the thickness of the fabric used. The interfacings we used in the video are without glue. Therefore, we have to sew the interfacing onto the fabric pieces. Before attaching the blankets, please double fold the hem first. Please fix evenly at the arc of the folder hem. After the fixation is completed, it can be directly sutured. Make sure you press every seam after sewing. The black egg can be ironed according to the folds and seams before joining the bodice. The front piece and the black gate are fixed with pins. Keep seams straight. Fold back stitching at the bottom of the black gate. Secure the suture with pins and sew to complete blanket. The cola and cola stand like blankets need to be attached with interfacing. Sew the cola turnover and press it properly. Sew so around the collar at the distance of about 0.5 to 0.75 cm around the edge. Sew so the collar to the collar stand. Secure the collar according to the markings on the pattern. Sandwich stitch stand collar. Make sure you press every seam after sewing. Seam the collar to the bodice. Put the interfacings on the cuff panels first. Gather the sleeves. Gather to the same length as the cuff. After the gathers are fixed, seam the sleeves and cuffs to form a cylinder separately. Then sew the sleeves to the cuffs. Be careful when stitching small cylinders. Fold back and seam to complete cuffs. Seam the sleeves to the bodice. Be careful when stitching with curved lines. Sew buttons and buttonholes according to the mark positions.
Don't forget to support us when you see this. Remember to give us a like, leave a message about the clothing you want us to make, share more of our videos. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time.